same violence as another kind of violence. What's good, YouTube? It's a Black Gen Z mindset. Make sure you go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe, and let's get into the video. New from us at this hour, Mobile Police investigating a string of shootings in three different locations. One man is dead, five others suffering gunshot wounds. I want to go right now to our investigative reporter, Brendan Kirby, who's at Mobile Police headquarters. Brendan, you just got off the phone with the police chief, Paul Prime. Yeah, that's right, Lenise and Byron. I did just talk to Police Chief Prime. He says that uh, the investigators are still working to gather all the facts in these shootings, but he says that they don't appear to be related to one another. Now, one thing is for sure, it was a bloody day yesterday in the port city. Starting at about 4 p.m., there were four separate incidents over a little more than 13 hours stretched. Wow. Oh, wow. And this is crazy four separate shootings within this within the span of 13 hours this is how the community is rolling man and it's getting bad and nobody's saying anything about it okay nobody's saying anything about it At this point, it feels like all hope is lost because you can't even get any type of attention on this kind of stuff. Like my my channel, <clears throat> it's being limited. Best believe that. Views, comments, exposures. I, I have to approve a lot of comments, right? I have to go back and review every video. So I'm being censored. I wouldn't go as far as to say shadow banned, but I, I would definitely censored. Um, the growth is being inhibited because the message is so authentic and, and, and real that you, you can't get away from it. And it's jarring. And when you hear this message and when you see what's going on, it... it it's abrasive. It's hard to swallow. But the only way you're going to, you know, implement some real change is actually accept what's going on. And, and I just don't think the community is ready to do that. She did this morning. It started at about 4 p.m. when an altercation at Matry Park led to gunshots. One woman and one 16 year old girl suffering what police call non life threatening injuries. Police charged two sisters with the second degree assault, Consuela Jones and Ali Jones. They perform rap music under the name The Famous Twins. Wow. The Famous Twins. The Famous Twins. And they're on TikTok, and, and these uh, young female super gremlins. I mean, they're. What can you say? This is your modern day sister. A lot of these sisters are very masculine. And they had 1.4 million on TikTok. Um, and it's finna be OV. It's finna be OV. Mobile Police Chief Paul Prine says that this involves two groups of women who met at the park with the intention of fighting. Less than three hours later, police say that two men bumped into each other at the M&M Food Mart in Theodore. One of the men pulled a gun and fired multiple times, hitting two bystanders. Police are looking for a suspect in this incident, Trentian King. He also has active warrants alleging robbery and shooting into an occupied vehicle. At 9.22, a gunman shot Brandon Davis to death at a house on Winegar Avenue Dang. in the Maysville community. And just understand that all of these victims are black. Okay? And none of the perpetrators 
were white supremacists. Chief Prine says that this was the result of a dispute with an unknown suspect. Finally, at 5.18 this morning, police responded to a shooting on Airport Boulevard. Investigators say that two people approached the victim inside his home. One of them shot the man in the leg. Chief Prine says that the violence yesterday is disappointing, but he added that Mobile's crime rate has been trending down so far this year. Yeah, well, I think it's important to know that we feel like it's a setback, but that's what... Uh, this business really is all about. You know, we get a lot of successes, we get a lot of wins, uh, but unfortunately we have these patterns and these crime spurts. We, we're not deviating from our plan. Our plan has been working and we're taking guns off the streets, we're identifying targets, especially recidivist offenders, and we have... And what are those recidivist offenders? What are those? Those are people who reoffend after being arrested, reoffend after being let out on bail or parole or whatever punishment that they were sentenced to, they're reoffenders, and a, a lot of those guys they they're able to repeat offenses because the criminal justice system is broken, and in not in the ways that you think it is. I've been making arrests. In addition to all these shootings that resulted in injuries, there was another shooting in this period that did not result in any injuries. Chief Prine says that someone in a car drove by a home on Driftwood Drive and fired multiple rounds into the house. But as I said, no one was hurt. Reporting live in Mobile, Brendan Kirby, Fox 10 News. Someone had to see this, this crowd gathering. Someone had to see the altercation before it led up to the shooting. Well, yeah, tonight, Fox News getting more information about that wild shooting at Matry Park. Two people wounded, including a teenager. Police arresting a set of twins they say fired the shots during the fight. Fox News reporter Stephen Moody now joining us here in studio with the very latest on this story. And Stephen still can't believe that somebody was mm. live streaming the chaos on social media. You can't believe it. This is what. This is what uh, not only the community, the whole world live streams everything. So especially young people. But look at the smirks on these young girls mug shots. They think it's OK that they did this. I think it's cute. I think it's a game. Yeah, Lanise Byron, while talking to Mobile Police Chief Paul Prine this afternoon, he told us that the streaming of that shooting might have been planned. And as people on social media continue to talk about what happened, he's hoping that more people come forward with information. I'll be completely frank with you. I'm disgusted by it. Mm. Chief Paul Prine referring to social media video of Thursday's shooting here at Maytree Park. Police say twins Allie and Consuela Jones are... Look. Disgusting. They trying to lay their edges and obviously this is not her hair. <sighs> These female super gremlins are on demon time. Responsible. The two who are known on social media as the famous twins have over a million followers on TikTok. Just feet away, workers at a store heard the entire thing. Uh, heard gunshots in the front and peeked out the door. And we heard shots and looked out the door and, and they were shooting off that way, heading towards the uh, Timmons Corner. In the live stream, you see a woman firing seven shots while people run away screaming. A 16-year-old girl and a woman were both hit but are expected to be okay. Mm. Chief Prine says there could be a motive to the filming of that shooting. Protect black women, right? We got two Afro-Latina women, which I'm pretty sure they're just black, but they got some burrito-esque -esque names. So um, I'm going to go with Afro-Latina. But anyways, you have these women shooting at other women. So I don't take these chants and these slogans and, and catchphrases seriously. Because these women don't even believe that. All they believe in is demon time. I think it's important to note that maybe in that particular incident uh, that the video was intentional and it was to gain attention, uh, either for social media or, you know, for some sort of reward, whatever the case may be.
Police say the shooting happened after a fight in the park. The twins are charged with assault. Now, as the investigation continues into what led to the fight, Prine says that video has already played a huge role. It seems like, uh, especially with the younger generation, that they solicit some type of following or gathering, if you will, from these types of incidences. But nevertheless, uh, you know, that's an unfortunate incident, but the video certainly aided uh, in developing. The Look at their smirks. And they're only being charged with assault. They're probably out already on bond. These women are menaces. And they're just going to become more emboldened. Because they have their followers and they're following and they're trying to get more clout. How far are these two female super gremlins willing to go to further the agenda of demon time? The identity of the suspects as well. Now, after a bond hearing this morning, the twins are expected to be back in court next Tuesday. I'm here on the corner of MLK and Frederick Douglass, where a shooting just took place. And as you can see, it's a pretty rough area. So I'm basically risking my life reporting on this madness. So make sure you do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. Like the video, hell, share the video. And make sure you go ahead and leave a comment down in the comments section to continue the discussion on how we can find solutions to all this sun violence in the streets. I'm Jen Quavius Jackson here live reporting from Atlanta, Georgia, BGZM News 17. All right, guys. So um, I pulled up. I pulled up the famous twins. Um, TikTok. This is them. Um, basically doing these little dances and stuff, um, as you can see, um, multiple skits, finna go rob a store, you know, slutty-esque videos of them twerking and doing these little dances, as you can see. So, I mean, this is the vibe. Th this is the ratchetness. The weaves. I mean, every... You talk about stereotypes. Right? We talk about stereotypes. Now she's talking about help me bury my father. Because I think these are the same girls who were involved in an, uh, another shooting. Um, if I'm not mistaken that actually did kill their their pops like i think these are the same girls hold on so let's kill the music so yeah um i think the something like they got in a fight another fight which these sisters seem to continue to do they got in a fight and some boy came back and he was acting as if he was protecting and, and killed the father so she put the gofundme link up uh, to gain support to bury her father. So these are, I think these are the same women who were involved in another shooting. Investigating two murders they say are connected. The first happened around 11 last night near government and DIP. A father shot and killed over a domestic dispute. Less than an hour later, Mobile Police called to Florida Street for what they are calling a retaliatory shooting. NBC 15's Rachel Wilkerson has been investigating these cases. She joins us now with the very latest. Rachel. Greg, MPD says this was a huge domestic dispute between ten twin sisters. Police say the twins called their mom and dad, who is James Walters, to assist. It ended up resulting in his death. Mm. And, it, and it, it appears that death just surrounds these women. We've, we've, we know about, um, we know about how a lot of violence gets incited in the community where the woman says, Hey, I'm gonna go get my big brother. I'm gonna go get my dad. I'm gonna go get somebody to beat you up. And then it ends in a shooting. This happens often. All right. And, um, <clears throat> it's a shame, but it's the reality. And these young girls, 
got their daddy killed. Eight-year-old James Walters' twins go by the name Famous Twins on social media. They allegedly signed a deal with a local rapper and money was deposited into their account, money that allegedly fueled this domestic dispute. They was just mad and they was just going back and forth, back and forth. Police say one of the twins' boyfriend and Walters got into an argument. Police say both men were armed. When they was all in the house, the next thing I knew, commotion started. And then it stopped, this commotion started real, real bad, and then gunshots was fired. MPD says at some point, one of the twins' boyfriends shot Walters. The bullet, police say, also struck a 23-year-old female who was in critical condition. Walters ran out of the house and collapsed in the street. He fought for his life, but died upon receiving medical attention. So these, these sisters are bad news. These female super gremlins are bad news. They... Wherever they go, they bring trouble. They bring ratchetness. They bring loudness. They bring weaves. They bring fake lashes. They bring glued on. <laughs> you know what I mean. Edges glued down. I mean, it, it's a mess. And they also bring demon time. As a result of uh, that particular uh, incident, uh, one of the girls' uh, boyfriend um, decided that he would retaliate against the individual that he thought was responsible for causing uh, the death. Public Safety Director Lawrence Batiste says 28-year-old D'Angelo Merrill went to the Pathway Apartments on Florida Street looking for revenge against the alleged gunman. Police say Merrill was in the Wright complex but kicked in the wrong door and shot and killed innocent 74-year-old James Jones. Wow. Look at what these women created. His actions um, were, were cowardice. Uh, that, there was no reason for him to take that type of action, to kick someone's door in. And the, the worst thing is like, you know that these women understand that these super gremlins literally have no type of mind to actually get the right guy they're mad they're emotional they're they're raised by emotional women and in this case the famous twins they had their father in the home but it deal it still didn't stop them from becoming you know the ratchet ethos that they are and and to randomly randomly begin shooting at someone because of a, of a domestic dispute that occurred at a different location that he, maybe he didn't even have all the facts about. Police are actively looking for Merrill. On social media, one sister claims the other gave the boyfriend a gun. MPD cannot comment on specific details at this time and says the twins are not facing charges at this time. But I can only imagine that if, if my father was killed because of my actions, uh, I don't think there's no court can place more pressure, more burden on them, or sentence them to any higher of a, a sentence than what they're going to have to carry in their hearts for the rest of their lives. MPD is asking if you know where D'Angelo Merrill is to call MPD so they can take him into custody for the death of the 74-year-old man. The William Street case has been bound over to a grand jury. Great. You know, that ended in their father passing and I think it was because a boyfriend or something came back and shot the father but I could be mistaken but I think that's about right okay um let's see this crazy y'all report the GoFundMe account just trying to bury my dad why so um yeah this is I think I'm pr uh, I think I'm right on this being the situation that happened. I mean, it's crazy, y'all. <laughs> it's crazy, and they wonder why brothers are dating out, cause this is what we're getting. Yuck. Gang violence. 